Hey folks, uh, this lesson is uh, part one of solving rational equations. So we've done adding and subtracting and simplifying. It's all about factoring. This lesson's a little bit easier because um, uh, we're doing what's called cross multiplying. So let's go ahead and solve uh, these equations and, and check our solution. So here we have a fraction equals a fraction. When you have a fraction equals a fraction, you do this thing that everybody's done before called cross multiply. So there we go, cross multiply. Okay, and since this is a binomial, then we got to put parentheses around it because we're multiplying this x times everything in this denominator, okay? So this side times this side equals this side times this side. Now I could have done 6 times 2 first and put it on the left. But since uh, the, all the x stuff is this way, I did this side first, so it's on the left right here. Okay, now we'll distribute this x through, so x times x and x times uh, 4, and then 6 times 2 equals 12, okay? And then uh, this is a quadratic equation, so quadratics means it's squared, so we want this to be 0, not 12, so let's subtract uh, 12 from both sides, okay, and then we're going to go ahead and factor, okay, factors of negative 12 that add to positive 4, okay, well 1 times 12 equals 12, 2 times 6 equals 12, and 2 and 6 are going to be the pair that gets me negative 12, so I'll go plus 6 times a negative 2. That'll get me uh, that positive 4, okay? And then we set those factors equal to 0 and then solve, okay? Now it says uh, at the top to check our solution. So let's go ahead and check, okay? So we plug in x equals negative 6 right here and right here, okay? That's what this says right here. So that's where x was and that's where x was, okay? And then over here we tried x equals 2. So we put 2 where x was and 2 where x was right here and right here are these true so 6 over negative 6 plus 4 negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2 6 over negative 2 is negative 3 and here we have negative 6 over 2 equals negative 3 that checks out let's see if this checks out so 2 plus 4 equals 6 6 over 6 equals 1 over here 2 over 2 equals 1 they both check out so since they both check out those are our answers right there okay sometimes you'll find out one or, or two of them won't check out so so it's good to check your answers let's try another one just like that cross multiply okay subtract uh, 15 from both sides make it equal to 0. Okay, factors of negative 15 are negative 5 times a positive 3, and that's the pair that adds to this negative 2. Okay, set the factors equal to 0, so then we add 5 and subtract 3, and we get uh, y equals 5 or negative 3. Okay, let's check, you guys. So plug in uh, y equals 5 right here and right here. That's what this says right here. 5 over 5 minus 2 is 5 over 3. That checks. Over here, 5 over negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. 5 over negative 5 is negative 1. Negative 3 over negative 3 is also negative 1. So those check out. So uh, 5 and negative 3 are our answers. Okay. Sometimes we get something that looks like this. So on your assignment you'll have something that looks like this. Okay. Cross multiply. So now we're going to FOIL. We get a binomial times a binomial. So if we FOIL all of that, let's clean it up you guys. Okay. I combined like terms 1H uh, minus 6h is negative 5h and 5h minus 3h is 2h. Can you see how I foiled you guys? I did first times first is this h squared outer times outer is the 1h and then inner times inner is the negative 6h and then negative 6 times 1 is negative 6 and I foiled this side out and got this side. Okay now I'm going to go ahead and subtract h squared from both sides and uh, uh, clean that up and then we'll go ahead and add 5h to both sides, okay, and then we're going to go ahead, we need to solve for h, so h is over here now, so I'm going to add 15 to both sides, okay, and so we get 9 equals 7h, and then and then uh, divide by 7, and we get h equals 9 sevenths, and that's okay, fractions are okay, don't worry about checking the fractions, you guys, okay, that's our answer right there, okay, if you get a fraction answer, uh, don't worry about checking it. Chances are those will check out, you guys. Okay, all right, let's try one of these here. Okay, so cross multiply, okay, and then uh, set it equal to zero because it's a quadratic, so we'll subtract uh, the x squared and the 5x, and then we factor that. We can GCF out an x, okay, and then 
then we set the factors equal to zero. Okay, and then we add 29 to both sides and divide by seven and we get 29 sevens, okay? Uh, zero checks out and this will check out too. Don't worry about checking those, you guys, all right? The fraction answers, that'll be for later. All right, you guys, if you're in my class, uh, that would be your assignment. Take care.